Assalamu alaikum viewers this video is about the making of petticoat or underskirt that is used under the dresses majorly party dresses to give more volume to the dress and once you make a petticoat you don't need to uh, attach lining or can can again and again under your uh, dresses right so uh, it's good to make a petticoat and you can make it uh, in full length or uh, a half length petticoat depending upon the type of uh, dress you are wearing right and i'm making this for five to six year girl and so you can change your measurements accordingly i'm using can can fabric for this petticoat so let's get started the length of the petticoat is kept 2 inches less than full length of the dress so it is not visible outside the dress from the bottom and in my case the full length is 26 inches so the petticoat would be 24 inches long and if we exclude 2 inches for the waistband the can can part of the skirt would be uh, 22 inches long so we need 22 inches long can can skirt and if we divide 22 into 3 tiers each tier should be 7 inches long so that is 2 inches waistband each tier would be 3 uh, sorry 7 inches long so that would be equal to the length of the can can part we need so for the first tier we need one strip of fabric for the second tier we need twice the fabric so there should be two layers and for the third tier we need four strips of fabric we are increasing the fabric uh, or we are doubling the fabric right in each consecutive tier so in total we need seven strips of fabric and each strip should be 8 inches long because we need 1 inch seam allowance as well. So in total we need 7 strips and each strip should be 8 inches long. And the width of each strip is equal to the width of the fabric, right? So this is our fabric and I have marked at 8 inches. So we'll cut from here, from all these lines. So I cut 8 inches long strips. Each strip is 8 inches long and they are 7 strips so this is the first tier we need one strip for first tier two strips for the second tier and four strips for the third tier now we'll join all the strips of one tier with each other so i've joined these two strips for the second tier and four strips for the third tier and now it's time to gather the can can We'll gather the third tier down to the width of the second tier. So it's better to uh, mark at the center for reference because these are four strips for the third tier, which will be pleated down to two strips of the second tier. So, so this is the part where one strip would be gathered. So we'll start gathering from one end and we now we know that we'll pleat down one strip down to this point the second strip down to the next mark where this is the joint and the third strip down to this mark and the last strip down to the end here so in this way the fabric will be equally pleated so this is the right side of the second tier join the right side of the third tier to it and pleat down one strip down to this point so simply make pleats like this and you need to gather the fabric down to that point so we have gathered the fabric as you can see now it's time to pleat the second tier down to the width of the first tier so we'll mark in the center because the second tier is having two strips so each strip would be gathered one strip would be gathered up to this point and the other down to this point right so we'll do the same this is the right side of the first uh, tier match the right side of the second tier to it and now we'll pleat down the second tier the wrong side is facing us now top stitch at the joint so all seams will be set in place so 
so I have top stitch as well now we'll gather the first ear down to the waist measurement so we'll pleat it down our waist measurement is 22 inches so we'll pleat it down to 22 or 21 inches So I've pleated down the first ear as well and it's better to check it out. So it is 21 inches wide. That is our waist measurement. We'll make another layer in the same way and one more layer. So these are three layers in total. We'll make all the three layers in the same way. We'll join these three layers from the waist and the sides as well. So I have stitched them together at the waist and the sides as well. So the ratio we used for the three tiers is 1 is to 2 is to 4 and if we want to give more volume at the waist part we need to uh, use 2 is to 4 is to 8 ratio so it means we need 10 meters of fabric because right now we are using 5 meters of fabric right so it would uh, we need double the fabric so there is a, a hack you can say to increase the volume with the same amount of fabric so I had 5 meters fabric and I am left with these two strips and both the strips are um, 7 to 8 inches long the length doesn't matter but the width of the strip is equal to the strip of uh, width of the fabric so these are two strips and we'll join these strips together and pleat them down at the waist part here so in this way the volume of the petticoat will increase at the uh, waist point or the, at the hip point actually so it will give more volume to our dress so simply we'll join the strips and then pleat these two strips down to the waist measurement so I have marked at the center so we know that up to this point we need to uh, pleat one strip so we'll heavily pleat it because these are two strips and these will be pleated down to the waist measurement So I have pleated these two strips and attached them to the waist as you can see. So it's, it will give more volume at the hip point. So it, the volume of the dress would increase, right? Now we'll match the sides and stitch the side seam leaving a 3 to 4 inches uh, gap at the top. So we'll leave 3 to 4 inches gap at the top so it would be easier to put it on. So I've stitched the side seam and we will finish this opening by just folding the fabric on the wrong side. And now it's time to get the waistband ready. For the waistband I took a strip of fabric which is 3 to 4 inches wider than our waist measurement so it is 24 inches wide fabric and the length of this strip is 5 inches because we need 2 inch wide uh, waistband and 1 inch is for seam allowance. Now we'll take a strip of interfacing and this is 2 inches wide that is equal to the width of waistband we need. We'll paste this interfacing on the fabric leaving a half inch margin. So I've pasted it as you can see. Now fold the fabric 
matching the right sides together and stitch at the side so I've stitched the sides now turn the right side out so the corners will be finished like this now we'll attach this waistband to our skirt so match the opening of the skirt to the waistband one end of the waistband the right sides together and open the waistband like this we'll attach one side of the waistband to our skirt first like this and we'll stitch all the way around we won't attach the other side so this is our skirt match the right side of the waistband to it and start stitching from one end here and we are attaching just one layer of the waistband to the skirt this is the side of the waistband where interfacing is attached The width of the waistband was uh, more than our waist measurement so it will exceed our waist measurement like this. So this is how it will look like. Now we'll turn the right side out like this. So it is finished from the right side and from the wrong side we'll simply fold the fabric, fold all the margin towards the waistband and fold the fabric like this and top stitch it. So the wrong side of the waistband is also finished and I've attached hooks at the ends. You can also use buttons or zip and this is all done. I hope you like the video. This is the final look of the skirt. Make sure to like the video, comment if you have any question regarding this video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And thank you so much for watching. Allah Hafiz till the next video.